Now the next story is about an Oakville woman with spirit, or rather a woman of spirits, and her husband and how they're bringing her traditional Ukrainian culture to Canadians. Nikki Wesley has the details. The birth of Zerkova Vodka starts with a love story. Two engineers that met at university, um, my husband fell in love with my culture, he fell in love with our, my family, the toasting, the traditions, the vibe, and then when Ukraine became independent five years later, we ended up moving to Ukraine, starting a company, and made it our mission to find the origins of vodka. Having experienced the vodka culture in a place like Ukraine, and it's very similar in Poland or Russia, where they treat vodka with a certain degree of reverence, and there's an etiquette to it. There's a whole toasting tradition, which is just amazing. After completing historical research, they found the Polish-Lithuanian birthplace in modern-day Ukraine. And when we started looking around that area, we couldn't believe what we found. You know, a distillery that had been around since the 1800s that was literally situated on the perfect source of water that, you know, they had searched the lands for, and it still exists. It's still using classical methods that are long disappearing. And so we decided that we wanted to bring the origins to the rest of the world. While Canada is the seventh largest market for vodka, it's largely dominated by corporate brands. In the birthplace, they drink it vodka straight. They drink it chilled or room temp. In Canada, in North America, we love our cocktail culture. So we're the first brand that actually has taken two formulations that have two different jobs to do. You know, Zirkova one that actually makes better um, spirits forward drinks. So this is your classical classic martini, zipping, shots, vodka, water, and then together, which actually takes any mix and makes it taste better and not boozier. It's, never, it's just never been done before. So it's like this beautiful bridge between two cultures and honoring the birthplace, and, but honoring how we like to drink vodka as well. As chief experience officer no, before the pandemic, straight. John would auction off Zerkova tasting experiences, raising $400,000 for local charities. And people loved it. It was all about the culture of vodka, how it's made. They would learn everything there is to know and, and how to appreciate vodka. That suddenly stopped one day, including all of the LCBO in-store demonstrations we did. We did 800 right before the pandemic. We started doing our vodka experiences online. We would mail out a little package to people with everything they needed for it. And I actually realized it's almost easier sometimes to do it on Zoom because sometimes I'm doing a little comparison demo. And, you know, sometimes people, I wonder, you know, they'll wonder, did, did he mess with that? But when they made it themselves, oh, they get it. They're like, well, how can that, I, I know, I just made that. He truly enjoys sharing the more traditional aspects of yeah. vodka. Toasting isn't just cheers to you on your birthday. It's reaching for the fences, like, you know, swinging for the fences. If you don't make that person cry or deeply moved or something or everybody in the room, then you've not gone far enough. So it's really amazing. It, it creates a feeling in the evening that you just don't get otherwise. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley. Be yourself. Mix well with others. Budmo. Budmo. <laughs>